Hi, and welcome to Bonita's Kitchen, and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to make today is a delicious boiler of ground beef barley soup. So if you're interested in knowing how to make this today, let's get started. I'm excited to show you this soup today because now that I guess we all have been stuck in the pandemic um, and not able to get out to buy supplies. I was saying to Raymond, you know what, let's just take some ground beef out and a few this and that and let's make a pot of ground beef barley soup. So what I got here now is a package of lean ground beef. If you don't have lean ground beef and you got lean chicken, lean pork, you could use that as well. So all I'm going to do is open this and rinse some water over it just to take any blood that's around the packaging and we'll get this frying. I'm going to be putting in a cube of butter and just a drizzle of olive oil just to get this going. Now our ground beef here today is lean ground beef and uh, just put that on in like this and get it start frying. Pretty much all you need to do there is just pop that in and let that start to fry. What I got here today is the basic vegetables. I got a couple of root ve vegetables, which is my carrot, turnip, parsnip, and I got some, um, I'm not going to be using potatoes because I'm using barley here today. We love barley in soup. We're going to be using celery and celery leaves. And I don't have any fresh, uh, I, I'm going to say herbs, I'm going to be use ground, which I got some ground thyme, but if you got some fresh thyme that's in your fridge, without going out to the store, use that. We got some salt, pepper, and we're going to be using some garlic. And I'll tell you how much we're going to be using as we go. And I, as well, I'm going to share the ingredients in our recipe and under this video. So let's get back to our ground beef. So what we're going to do here now is just to start to fry on it and uh, just to get the meat partly cooked. The reasons for the lean ground beef is because you can control the, the amount of oil you put in there. We're going to be putting in about a half a teaspoonful of brown and leaves of thyme, half a teaspoonful of pepper, and you could use black or white pepper and just let that cook there for a little bit. And now, what I'm going to do is put the barley into some water. Do that right now. So what I got here is a third of a cup of pearl barley. And that's, um, you could use a little bit more if you want to, depending on how much you want in your soup. And I'm going to be putting into a cup of water, and this is just to, to rinse it a little bit before we use it, and then we'll drain that water off. What I need is about six to eight, eight cups of uh, beef broth, uh, or you could use vegetable broth. Here today I'm using vegetable broth from what we call it our, our boiled dinner, and I always keep that, uh, that broth or what stock as well for later for a soup. And as well, I'm going to share a link with you where we just made some uh, broth there, chicken and beef broth, and I'll let you refer to that if you want to make your own. But here now, we're going to be putting in the broth into our boiler and get that boiling. So I'm going to pour in um, six to eight cups, and I'm going to keep a cup. So that's about I'd say six. I'm going to keep about a cup because I want to rinse out my tomato soup can because once we put our tomato soup in there, I always like to rinse it. So let's get this boiling here now. Okay, so after I peeled the vegetables I'm going to use, and again, you use the vegetables that you got available in your home without going out if you want to make what I'm going to call a pandemic soup because this is a soup that you're going to make out of scratch and things you got in your fridge. And this is what I had available to make our ground beef barley soup. So I got the water rinsed off of my vegetables that I'm using here today. 
getting it ready to put into that broth when it gets nice. So what I also got here is some celery leaves and I had two cloves of garlic left in my container. I'm gonna chop these off really nice. We're gonna be using that in our soup as well. Pretty much all you're going to do here is just chop it up fine and the same thing with your garlic. Now you can um, use your press for your garlic if you don't want to, um, to chop it, that's fine. But you just need to chop, chop, chop it nice and fine. Now I'm going to put my onion in with my ground beef while it's still frying nice. We're going to toss a medium chopped onion into the pan with our ground beef. We're going to get this partly cooked as well. And then when it gets, that it's starting to get a little clear, we're going to add in our salt. But I don't want to do it before because I don't want to take out the liquid, the juice from those onions. That's all you need to do there. Okay, so this is coming along lovely and smells amazing. And for those of you that have never made ground beef soup before, you are going to love it. So I'm going to be putting in there a teaspoonful of sea salt and a tablespoonful of brown sugar. And I'll talk about that brown sugar now in a moment. So the reason behind adding in the brown sugar while the ground beef is frying, you could add it into the pot when you're cooking your soup. You can add it in when you're frying the ground beef. I put it in there anytime that I'm using tomato soup in my, um, in my soups. I'd like to add a little bit of brown sugar that cuts off that, uh, I'm gonna say that aestheticness in it, that so as it don't, um, what, my, uh, what my mom says, come back when, you, you know, when you're eating it. So that settles that down. What I'm going to do now is add in my garlic to my, uh, my ground beef and onions. And I only just want to just give that a little cooking because I don't wanna burn it. And then we're going to start loading up the boiler. So just toss those chopped um, garlic into your ground beef and just whisk it around lightly like this and then turn off your pot because that's done. After you've soaked the garlic for a little bit, you see it's starting to let off a little bit of that starch from it. We're going to drain it into a strainer get it all strained out there, I'll use that after. And then we're gonna add this to our broth and get this cooking. So after you've strained it and your broth is starting to cook, toss the barley into the boiler, stir it around and get it cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes before we're, we add anything else in with it. Okay, so after your barley got that little bit of cooking, you're going to add in your ground beef and your onions. Just put it all on in there. This soup is starting to look good already and I don't even have anything done with it. So you just put all of your vegetables that you cut off and washed and drained into the baller as well. Now we're going to put this back on the damper and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. So when you put your boiler on the stove, have it on a medium heat. Then have the lid just partly on there. Don't put it all the ways down because you don't want it to boil over. And I was just uh, saying to Raymond about years ago when our kids were just younger and I would be making a soup or a stew and the boys would say, Mom, what's for supper? And I'd say, a little bit of this and that. Raymond would say as well, and everybody's mm -hmm. hungry, they can smell it, they're not certain what it is, and that's what it's all about. When, you, when you're not certain what to make, and you know that uh, you're, you're starting to get low on supplies, you don't want to have to go out, probably it's a, a stormy day or a rainy day or whatever, just look in your fridge and see what's there and make a soup or a stew, add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A donor to have canned foods around. I got some tomato soup here and of course we've used it with our tomato soup cake and I'll share that link with you again if uh, you haven't seen it. And I kept a little cup, a cup of my broth to rinse out the can when we use it. This is almost at the very end. I'm also going to be serving my soup today, the ground beef barley soup, with fried tomato with a little bit of shredded cheese. Now this 
could be matzo cheese, it could be cheddar cheese, I don't know. It was left in the fridge. I'm going to use it today. We're going to put that in the frying pan there now. Get that going while our soup is cooking. I'm going to be putting in just a small little bit of butter there, just start it off with. And I'm going to be tossing in just a couple of tomatoes here, three of them actually, and, and then put on the top the cheese. So this is going to be when we serve our soup. I'm going to put this on the very top of it. You can grill this as well, but I like it fried and, and done it this way, but I'm going to leave it up to you what you decide. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of pepper and salt over the top of those tomatoes. And what I'm going to do is cover it because I want the cheese to melt. So I'm going to reach for my boiler. We're going to put the celery in there. We're going to put the tomato soup and I'll tell you what's next. Okay, so I'm going to bring my boiler to me. That is steam. Watching that boiler gallop is so nice as well. So now it's adding those ingredients. Just look at this delicious soup. And we haven't even added in all of the ingredients yet. It's perfect like this. You could uh, test your broth, make sure that you're satisfied with the taste. If you want to add in more thyme, more pepper, or whatever ingredient you got on hand. And then don't forget to rinse your can. I think there's a, quite a few um, can rinsers out there because when I shared the video for tomato soup cake, there's quite a few of us out there that likes to rinse the can, save every, every taste because it's all flavor. We got here now two sticks of celery. We're gonna put that on into our boiler. So toss that on in there, chopped. Whatever size you like, I like it. Just lightly diced like this. Now I'm gonna put it over on the stove top Cook it for about another five minutes and let's have a bowl. Now, this is it. This is as good as it gets. All it needs there now is to top it with those celery leaves and put that in there. Look at that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is scoop up some of this delicious soup. And of course, Raymond's on the other side and he can't wait have some and you know we had made our tomatoes I'm going to show you that to put right here on the top of your soup with an extra bit of, of the celery leaves and a grilled cheese sandwich how good is that of course we all know we gotta have a little cup of tea with having a delicious meal. Now this meal is good for your lunch, for supper, and you know it's not that much work to get it all ready. Season it up the way you love it. This is a soup you're making for your family. Oh, I would say drop the fork, delicious. Two <laughs> thumbs up, I'm sorry. And I didn't then, even see that dance for a no, second. No, not, so. you couldn't see the dance grilled cheese sandwich just to dip in it and have a little taste so good delicious of course i got a taste of my tea to wash that down i can't wait to get into that soup but you know when we make soup we make too much that's okay because we want it for another day so get yourself a clean mason jar pour out a bottle full of soup Seal it up, put it in your fridge. When it comes to room temperature, put it in your fridge for when you want to have it. And normally, you could keep it there a couple of weeks, maybe even three weeks, just like this. No pressure cooking it, no putting it in a canner after to seal. It'll seal on its own because you're only keeping it for short time use. How okay. good is that? So you shouldn't have to date it or anything like that? You can or, date it. Yeah. You can date it. Okay. Put on what it is. You know it's your ground beef soup. But if you got more of them, put the name on there, the date when you bottled it. Keep it for a couple of three weeks. And then enjoy it. 
So if you enjoyed this recipe today for ground beef barley soup, I'm calling it my pandemic soup. Certainly I hope our pandemic don't stay around longer than this. But if you're looking for this soup, the recipe is down under the video. You can uh, click on the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And if you have, we thank you for that in advance. You can visit us on our webpage, www.bonitaskitchen.com, our Facebook page, or right here on YouTube. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today. Your time is precious. Get out there, make yourself a nice boiler of ground beef, barley soup. If you don't like barley, you can add rice. You can add noodles. That's okay. So from our kitchen to yours, Thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day. Yours.